remember in the last ride when I blew out uh, my tri-hub? <laughs> she's had a rough weekend, but she's done good. And then you remember on the ride before that where, where I blew out this tri-hub? What's the matter? You don't like it? Yeah, so it's safe to say that tri-hub isn't gonna go back in this. You may ask, why not TKI? Well, the reason I didn't go with TKI is because that was going to be a very expensive uh, set of idler wheels for my 2014 M8. I would have needed two wheels, so 120 bucks each, let's say. I would have needed a new axle, uh, another 100 bucks there. Uh, shipping, you know, 30 bucks or whatever. By the way, those are all American prices, so add 30% on that. And now we're getting up to that range of four or $500 for just a rear end. However, we don't want to put a tri-hub back in. We still have to take the old one out. What we're going to do today is we're actually going to put in the, I'm going to call it the hardcore rear end. Uh, it was available in the Mountain Cats as well, non-alphas. Um, and we have uh, these new wheels that are going in. Believe it or not, they're cheaper than the tri-hub. So the new tri-hubs, they do have uh, replaceable rear bearings. That That's an old model, so it doesn't have replaceable bearings. Uh, you have to buy the whole wheel. The new ones do have it. They're on back order, and I wasn't about to put them in anyway, because usually on those wheels, by the time you catch them, um, it's too late. It's taken out the axle. You need new wheel. You need new bearings. You need to do everything. So let's try something new. We'll take out the old assembly. It's actually, you, you can buy actually this uh, this new wheel kit that I'm putting in as a um, whole assembly, but I bought it piece by piece because it was cheaper for some reason to buy it piece by piece and um, then I'll assemble it here. So let's uh, take out the old tri-hubs and we'll put these new, uh, this new rear end assembly back in. We'll get that assembled. And this is a good upgrade. If you're, if you're looking for an upgrade for the rear end you're sledding in, don't want to spend that huge TKI money. You've been through a couple of tri-hubs just like this guy here. Uh, this is actually cheaper than putting in a tri-hub and it's what they put on their new slide. So it's actually an upgrade too. Uh, I did a little trick to get these tri-hubs out. You don't actually need to drop the skid. I'm dropping the skid for a different reason. Um, if you lift up, it makes it a little easier, but all you gotta do is I just take out this brace bolt on one side, take out the hardware that holds them in. And if you do that, it'll actually give you enough room here to spread your skid apart. And we got seals and stuff falling out. Take out our little guide. And from there, you can just pop it out. But this one's a little loaded up sideways. That one's a little funny. And out comes our tri-hub or whatever's left of it anyway. There's the piece of junk we're taking out. And we actually, we don't need any of these parts. Uh, oh, something really chewed up that seal. So even that one was, this wheel's on its way out too. I mean, the bearing feels surprisingly okay, actually. But I mean, this look at this thing is just falling apart here, um, literally as I'm working on it. So we got a uh, an inner raceway right there. Um, we got a few other parts here. What do we got here? We got a bearing cage right here, and everything else is rusting up on the mountain somewhere. So I don't need this axle. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys what happened. This inner bearing spun out. And it's pretty much by this point screwed up this entire axle, probably not reusable at this point. And that inner bearing has also been side, or the, the other bearing, I should say, has also been side loaded pretty bad at this point. So uh, definitely would not use this again. This is the first one that I blew out that I still have. This one was quite a bit worse. It, uh, you can't. Like you can see these these braceway or the uh, I guess the parts that would hold in the race of the bearing or the bearing body um, they're pretty bulged out so this one actually went quite a bit further with uh, no bearing in it than uh, the other one did I don't know where my axle is for this one it's probably got thrown out because it was no good but it was uh, the uh, the outer raceway the bearing on this one um, actually saw it about halfway through this axle so um, we're done with tri hub stuff throw those out. So instead we have um, a rear end that would go in uh, a 2019 Hardcore, for example, or a 2019 um, uh, Mountain Cat, maybe. These wheels have the replaceable bearing. These wheels are considerably cheaper than the uh, the old Tri-Hub style. I think these are, oh, I wanna say 20 to 30 bucks each. I seem to remember at one point those Tri-Hub wheels were around 70 each. So this whole thing, um, 
I think this whole kit cost me like 130 bucks. This uh, this is for something else. Won't worry about that. But yeah, the whole kit here pretty much cost me about 130 bucks. So um, let's let's put it together. And we got this thing all assembled. It is literally just uh, uh, snap rings and axle. It's it's not really all that hard to uh, install. You just press the bearings on. You press the wheels on. You're good to go. Let's take a quick look about how they have changed. So. Uh, this is the updated set here. Uh, this is the stock set. Looks like Cat just basically decided that um, this wasn't necessary anymore. They, they did do a little bit of buffing up there uh, to make it a little bit stronger. But um, yeah, it's uh, something that's going to go right in for us. And of course, the diameter of the wheel is the same. This thing is very much not round anymore. It might be a little hard to tell on camera, but... Um, yeah, it's actually squished here. And this is an assembly now, so we just got to pop it in and away we go. We got a new updated, uh, updated wheel for us here. And then when you are all done, this is what you're left with. Hold on, let me go show you the other side. For some reason, um, the rail on this side, the powder coating, uh, I don't know, maybe that bad run of powder coating because the other rail doesn't isn't missing a little tiny bit. You have just upgraded yourself to the 2019 rear end. So same diameter wheels fit in there just nice. I did actually have to loosen off these adjusters to get it back in a little easier. So I have not set my track tension or alignment in this, um, which I'll do off camera because that's uh, that's boring to watch. If you're looking for a good upgrade and you don't want to lose your ass on spending uh, $500 or whatever on a TKI rear wheel kit, and you'd also don't want to put in these on your older sled, well, guess what? You can put in the 2019 rear end. I keep saying 2019. I think it's on the 2018s too. I don't remember off the top of my head. I still have to set track tension, track alignment. Do you guys know how to set track tension, track alignment? Should I make a video on that? Let me know. Oh, we'll have her out right away here. And I mean, there's nothing to test. I know it's going to work. Thanks everybody for watching today's video. If you like that, if you found it helpful, if it found, uh, you saved you a little bit of money, like that video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see everybody in the next one. Bye everyone.